Governor, can I ask you about SB5? The, uh, a lot of analysts say it's, uh, uh, the net effect is more about increasing the power of employers over employees rather than uh, getting at the $8 billion budget deficit. What's your, what's your response to well, that? Well, I mean, look, um, you know, the bill's working its way through the legislature today. I'm just going to say a few things about this. Uh, just a couple things. First of all, when your average private sector employee is paying 23% of their health care costs and your average city worker is paying 9%, I think it's fair to create a balance, number one. Secondly, my greatest interest in this bill is giving local governments, local governmental entities, including schools, the ability to manage their costs. And that's precisely what this is doing. Now, uh, we, we still permit the collective bargaining for wages and for working conditions. That, by the way, is something that two million federal workers don't have the right to do. I don't know whether you know that or not, John. But we believe in letting them uh, be in the position to be able to negotiate working conditions and wages. But some of the issues that relate to pensions, which, by the way, are in trouble, some of them are in trouble in this state, uh, that we need to make sure those, those uh, pensions are sound. Uh, and also the fact that, uh, that it's up to taxpayers who are represented by city councilmen who live next door to us, school board members who live next door to us, um, to be able to make good decisions on health care as well. So I think it's a matter of balancing in this state in 1983, this bill was passed along strict party line votes, and uh, we think we have, a, we have a program here that is going to allow local governments to deal with fewer dollars. It still protects the right of uh, collective bargaining on things that we think are legitimate, and uh, will help people to be able to cope in a period of time where we do have fewer resources. Now, let me also say that as we go through this budget process, this budget is not an end of itself. We are very much into job creation. That's why we're doing this. And so far, we've been able to save $157 million in payroll uh, with American Greetings. We have been able to bring the, the action movie, The Avengers, of which I'm going to get a cameo. And, uh, and uh, we also have been able to keep Bob Evans here. And we have a lot of other things that will be announced soon. The simple fact of the matter is this is the first step in, a, uh, in, a, in putting Ohio in a position of where we can reverse this kind of decline we've had. In the last 10 years, you wouldn't know this, John, but in the last 10 years, only California and Michigan have lost more jobs in Ohio. We must stop it. And as we create more jobs, all of our communities will be healthier. Our hospitals will be healthier, our schools, our local governments, everybody will. So we think this is, and this is just part of an overall package that's, uh, that uh, Amstutz will tell you is uh, breathtaking in scope and in size. Governor, did you ask for or do you support the changes that were made in the House and SB5? Look, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about SB5 when it's not when it's appropriate. I don't have any more to say. I about have 